this is WTFSR with Ron Squire. Yeah! That'll be a great intro for you. You're welcome. Yes, everyone, it's been a terrible week as far as the motorsport community is concerned. But hey ho, we're all on hand to try and cheer you up with a lovely WTFSR. With that being said, hey up. I'm Squire95 and here are all the WTF moments from the second race of the Formula Racing season at Estoril, which I will repeat three times is a dick. Dick. Once again, man like Alex Hollows is on hand to uh, do the AMA broadcast and we have two moments for AMA this week. First of all, delayed start, aka Bob Marley Engineering, aka Smoky Engines. It's as simple as that. Now, I was going to include a Spinala moment last episode, but uh, the people just like, no, it's, it's, it's not accounted for. This is definitely accounted for. You can't make me take this one out of the video. So, yeah, here we are. Spinala. Roll the clip. Oh, fucking hell. Get off the track. Nearly hit a lap to car, man. Fucking hell. Moving on into Akka, and there was no crashes at the start. WTF? No, seriously. I think there might be some hope for Akka this year. There might be some hope for Akka. Watch the space. Estoril is a dick, part one, and Marcus Reckus feels as rough when he, well, practically just lost his back end. It's actually his fault, isn't it? That he's lost his back end and, well, crashed into the uh, Armco. <sighs> kind of reckless there. Uh, Punt. Max is colliding with more cars in this race than he ever has been colliding with the podium in recent years. Practically, it was a symbol to him being near the top step of the podium for the most times at the beginning of last season, but compared to this season, he's had more collisions with, with cars in this race than he has with the podiums. I might be wrong, but don't care. WTF. Pedro Gomez, on the other hand, his teammates are living an absolute dominant display for Valet Esports to actually get themselves a win. It's, it's just dominant in the end. Absolutely dominant. But that's not the real WTF moment because the next WTF moment is this one. Bravum! Yes! Get it. On to Pro now, and Lon Stockerty gets a jump start. Lon Stockerty pays the price. We thought that he had a clean start because we've seen at the back nice camera work FSR and well he just got a drive through penalty back in those days we would have stop go penalties for even jump in the start what's the crack with that Estoril is a dick park 2 and uh, Finn circuit equals accidents as Thomas Wack bounds out when he sends it into the side of a car and well again, it's just for his fault basically every single Moments of Estevan's dick is pretty much the driver's fault. I'm guaranteed that the third one might be driver's fault, if not. I don't know what I'm saying, but still. WTF, deal with it. Now, as we mentioned last time, the Discord went into meltdown with uh, Matt Tucson raging. Um, this time round, it was pretty much everywhere. I'm, I'm just going to roll this clip. Thank you very much, Joey Volich, for that lovely display. We're moving on into the World Championship, and oh my god, is it happening again? Last time round, Mitch Hoyer was on pole before he learned from his own videos. That was a WTF moment. This time round, he is actually on pole again, and he's actually learned from his videos again. Oh, fuck me, lads. The end is nigh. Run for your fucking lives. The end is nigh. The end is nigh. Fucking run away. The end is nigh. HME, more like HMF, large F, because they just cause an absolute carnage at the start. Kraus, Kish, everyone involved, WTF. And we're not done there. We are not done there. You better check it yourself before you wreck it yourself, Blake. No, no, seriously, that, that, 
that crash was just absolutely insane. It mirrors what happened to Imla in the pro race. That was just insane. <laughs> Utterly insane. But it wasn't with such force, so yeah. Estoril is a dick part three, and this time Estoril really is a dick to this one because Tom Savley saddles on the curbing at the exit of turn two, loses some positions. Feels sad, man. <laughs> oh dear. Okay, Armageddon is officially upon us. In case you don't know what I'm talking about, Mitchie Hoyer won in Portugal just like he won in Imola from pole to flag. Armageddon. You know what it is. Grab to each animal, head for the shaggy border, because the end is fucking nigh. The end is nigh, the end is nigh, fucking run away, the end is nigh, bye. But on the real, I am absolutely happy for Mitchell Hoyer to actually start um, strong. And uh, yeah, we're hoping that he actually could uh, do it this year. Um, just be wary of Monaco, my guy, just just, just be wary of Monaco. But you, you know, you ought to give that address to... And that is it. Uh, WTFSR episode 2 is done. We'll see you for episode 3 at the next round. And uh, we hope it's just be much more lively this week. We don't know if it is, but you be the judge of that. And uh, I'll leave you to it. Like, subscribe, stay for the end bit, which you didn't do last week. And yeah, last week. Last episode. Yeah. Boom. Ta-ra. Boom. Yeah. Yeah. Fucking bullshit! 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 Fucking bullshit!